Travis Wayne Goods, though. Now, remember, after the 17th of December, uh, there was nothing that happened. After all the signs converging on that one date, scriptures, prophecies, everything, all converging on that date, even math, nothing happened. And so now it became an anomaly. And so I had to go back and go over the premises for the theory to see what needs to be added, taken away, uh, corrected, whatever. And then redesign the theory and then run a test. So we're all on the same page. You remember that, right? Everybody watches my channel, everybody watches all my videos, and love and adore me. Right? Yeah. Well, here we are. I've, this video is the redesigning of the theory, and will present the test to be tested. And it's coming up real quick. At least the initial phase of it. The year 2022 has a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go over it. We've got pictures. <laughs> I'll put in pictures for you. Uh, and we'll do it in little segments. Each little thing throughout the year. We'll do a little segment. And we'll input it into the video as we go. Alrighty. So... And if you're new, and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, we're talking about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You know, the Mormons. Though Jesus is angry if you say Mormon. What is he going to do? Strike me down? Oh, he's going to get Mormons to do it for him. I see. And so... Uh, yeah, uh, do I need to do any other explanation, or should we just get right into it? Uh, with my mother dying, there we go, uh, this is what triggered the, hmm, and it doesn't look like it, with the signs that are coming, unless it's thrown into the mix but I don't see it yet so the theory does not have a test for Irene just Nelson unless Irene pulls a bait and switch <laughs> or is it switch and bait <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, let's get into it.
The year was 2018. January 2nd, 10.01 p.m. It was a super moon. Full moon lasted for two days. And it was also the quadranted meteor showers from Revelation chapter 12. Should add the scripture up for us. Verse 4, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. Stick to my day job. This is my day job. <laughs> Quadranted meteor showers are the third. Uno, dos, tres third largest meteor showers of the year. Third part of the stars of heaven. To cast them to the earth. From the tail of the dragon. Draco is that dragon for the quadranted meteor showers. The tail of Draco the dragon. The quadranted meteor showers the third largest meteor showers of the year cast to the earth and we know that this date in Revelation chapter 12 was what I just gave you January 2nd 1001 p.m. 2018 but in Mormonism Death crossed upon the land of Utah as President Thomas S. Monson goes into the spirit world. And Mars is at the top of the scales of Libra, representing Nelson, who now takes over. Confirmed. Mars is Nelson. And it's been further confirmed. Mars is Nelson. End of discussion. Quit arguing. <laughs> you confirm it. When Mars, then that June, spoke to the youth of the church and created the Nazi Mormon Battalion, youth Nazi Mormon Battalion, Mars was right there at the mouth of the Goat Beast constellation, Capricorn. Confirmed. So anyway, that was also where they revealed they were in Russia in 2013. Anyway, I digress. But not quite, because this all has to do with why. And so, here we are, four years later. And Joseph Smith's translation, click on it, combines verse 4 with verse 3, which got moved to verse 4, as 5 got moved to 3. Comprehendo? No? <laughs> Joseph Smith translation. Rearrange the order and combine three and four. <clears throat> Alright. So all this was part of my video for the 17th of December. You refer to that. Otherwise this is going to be several hours, not just a couple hours. Remember I had pictures. I've got more. There's more pictures. <laughs> and so the first picture that I showed you 
The moon is waning. Waning means darkening. Waxing means growing, which means brightening. And there it is at Spica. Guess what? That's right now, today. The moon is there. It's been born as a falling star. Significant. In and of itself, no big deal. Happens every year. Happens every... Well, no, not... No, correction. <laughs> In Virgo, no, it is actually rare. So this is significant. And it's today. The second picture, and it's a little hard to see unless you blow up your computer or your cell phone screens, because I don't think very few of you, very many of you, use computers like I do, where I can see it on the big screen. I guess you can watch it on your big screen TV that you got for Christmas, or you've already got one. Uh, and so, yeah, today, the 28th, December, it begins. We're going to take you on a little journey. I've already taken you on a journey. You've seen the pictures, and you're going, yeah, get on with it. Mars is at the left knee, which is the throne of God. It's the in-between part of serpents, Ophiuchus. The throne of God is the symbolism. Now, we've already seen Mars, Nelson, at the top of the scales of Libra, getting weighed on the scales of Libra, and then at the star of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, where he failed and fell, just like those biblical characters did. And now he's on the throne of God. <coughs> and the moon is falling. And it is born today. So it's amazing how I'm finding this out on the day of the beginning of the end. Dun dun dun. Next picture. The moon is now the judge. It is at the top of the scales of Libra. That's tomorrow. And then Mar or the moon is then getting weighed on the scales of Libra. That's on the 30th. See how we're able to tell a story about the fall of the moon, which is a religion. Remember, left eye is for the moon, which is for religion. Right eye for the sun, government on over this. The two eyes are the eyes of Horus, and it's the Egyptian word Peter, which translated as seer. Okay? And so the darkening of the eyes, the right eye is a solar eclipse, left eye lunar eclipse. Those are coming up. And the last for the latter days. Because then, I'll, I'll get to it. It's after the latter days. So this is it, this year. For lunar eclipse, this is the collapse and fall of the church. The final year for them to collapse. And I'm already dead. I'm a dead man. Remember? This church threatened me. They were coming for you, Travis. Back off. Don't do more videos. Back off. I kept doing more videos, and now I'm destroyed. I have no idea if I'm going to make it or, or survive somehow. And then my mom dies. And I'm like, hmm, insurance. Life insurance. Hmm. Well, they haven't even bothered to tell me. I found out by searching the internet.
and and so yeah I can't hope that that will save me financially nonetheless notwithstanding the signs in the heavens say I'm going to continue to live and the church will be destroyed we're coming to that one <clears throat> and then the next picture is on the 31st of December it's the moon kind of hard to see because it's it's waning it's darkening it's falling and there it is with Mars in conjunction at the throne of God with a religious fall collapse see how this is all working into the symbolism here I'm not adding or taking away from the ancient understanding of this this is all based on them you know you get your astro theo crap and your astrology crap no throw that all out don't listen to them delete them whatever you gotta do don't listen they're a trap this is how the ancients did it <sighs> so the throne of God with Mars on the throne of God is now in jeopardy and so there you have the new moon on the second of January and into the third it is now eclipsed it's not a lunar eclipse but it is an eclipse of the loon the lunar because it's a new moon and it's only because the sun's there you can't see the moon when the sun's there <coughs> oh that's not the picture that's the picture so then I have super new moon for January 3rd 2022 what did we have in 2018 it was on the second and it was a super full moon now it's a new moon still not convinced Quadranted meteor showers. They're back. And this time on the third. <laughs> the second and the third. You see where we're going with this? See the connection? This is how you develop a theory. And we test it. Thus, the test is Nelson, just as Monson. In 2018, corresponding with scripture, corresponding with the signs in the heavens, and I just went over with you how the ancients would interpret the transit of the moon to this date, which has a pattern with Monson's death. And so despite the 17th being more significant, Monson didn't die with the sign of the dragon. He died with the stars falling from the tail of the dragon. And so here we are. And any Mormon who's being obedient, I'm going to get you the Doctrine and Covenants passage. Looking, okay. 
section 39. All Mormons are obedient and, and aren't just Mormon just to be mean. They are obedient to the prophets, to the scriptures. They obey. They don't just go, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Saying otherwise. No, they obey, right? So again, verse 23. It shall come to pass that on as many as ye shall baptize with water, ye shall lay your hands, and they shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, and shall be looking forth for the signs of my coming, and shall know me. Because you're all paying attention to my videos and know that the Christ is not... Jesus. I had a person put a comment on that very video. There is only one sugar. And it was a guy, Wes. I'm assuming a guy. So Mormons are supposed to look for the signs of the coming of the Mormon Messiah the actual Mormon Messiah. Not the Mormon Messiah named Jesus. No, the Mormon who is to be the Messiah of Mormons. You're supposed to be looking. And so here we are. The peak is on January 3rd, that evening, from the 2nd to the 3rd. And so, yes, the 17th also involved it. It was a week into, well, five days into, uh, after it began. But the peak corresponds. So it's tying it together. Verse 3 and 4, which got bumped to verse 4. Because 5 got moved to 3. And of, of interest, uh, it's not really per se a sign, but it happens every year. <laughs> January 4th, the earth is the closest to the sun. That's what perihelion means. And then the other one is whatever it's called. I've got the picture for it. I don't know if it'll be used necessarily. We'll have to see if I, it does. I'm not going to go over everything. Oh, the spring equinox and, and the fall. No, it has bearing to the church. We'll use it. All right. So, yeah. That's that for that. I could stop here, but there's more significant stuff that we need to cover. Or should I just stop it here? and do it just for Nelson. That's an idea. We'll let the other stuff wait because the other stuff is March. And it's awesome. Remember that whole scriptural thing about in the Book of Mormon about a new star? How did they know? <laughs> the new star is coming in March. So yeah, we'll we'll leave this as it is. We'll spare you a very long video. Huh. Okay. One with a teaser. But uh, uh, that's what I'm testing for. But with my mom's death, uh, Irene came up because of the dream that I told you, tell you about in the Sign in the Heavens for My Mom's Death video. <clears throat> I don't do videos if they have no significance to anything, per se. At least, there have been exceptions, but, but yeah, there's the 24th also of significance. And so there is a reason to continue on, but we're teasing you. 
And so I'm very curious if Irene is going to take a bullet for Nelson. Take a God bullet for Nelson. <laughs> That <laughs> make a great t-shirt. Yeah. Mormons already do it for the prophets. But uh, yeah, that, that would be very interesting if that's the case. But there has to be something. I can't see God just skipping by the latter days and not warning Mormons. I mean, the earthquake. There was more to that than Mormons knew, and Mormons thought, oh, wow, this is a sign. And then they said, oh, well, there's another one coming that'll be greater than this. <laughs> and we all have to prepare, we're all gonna die. Yeah, well, again, nobody knew it was the day after my birthday. Nobody knew that magna means uh, strong, and therefore the Hebrew for strong is Gaber, and the Gabriel is the angel announcing the birth and, and involved in other events and blah, blah, blah. I did the videos. Nobody cared to watch. Nobody's hearkening. People would rather die to their graves saying the church is true. And I did those lunar eclipses. We're in a tetrad. Those are a part of it for 2022. And uh, there's some fun stuff because this is the last lunar eclipses and for three years. And the latter days are over with when they finally show up again. So, yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to save me. I'm a dead man walking or talking, doing videos, as far as I can see. But uh, my birthday this year, huh, I don't know. So we'll see. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow is the funeral, not last week. <sighs> So, I don't know. Maybe it'll come at the final days. <laughs> it's going to be a frustrating month.